New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. I'm going to be upfront and honest with you. I did not want to share this tool with you today. I went into Lowe's to find the two-in-one scraper that Tough Built makes. I think it's a pretty cool tool, and I really wanted to see how it worked. Unfortunately for me and you, the store did not have any. I got online, and it said they had 14 of them in stock, but when I went to Lowe's, they did not have any on their shelves. I did ask one of the employees, and they couldn't find them. They couldn't account for the missing knives and weirdly I went to another Lowe's and that particular Lowe's also did not have them in stock. However as I was standing in the store empty-handed I was wondering what am I going to share with you guys and I looked up and behold I saw this. This is a utility knife with a pry bar built into the end. Obviously it's also made by Tough Built and if you don't know anything about Tough Built they seem to make some pretty unique tools these days. The quality of pretty much everything I own that is Tough Built is pretty decently built. They hold up pretty well and the pricing seems to be pretty fair for what you get. The overall construction of the utility knife itself is metal with the exception of the outside shell. The shell itself is plastic. It's actually the only plastic on the entire knife, but it does have this nice rubberized grip over the top of it. It doesn't feel like plastic. It feels like a piece of rubber. It does have a belt clip and a place for a lanyard. It does lock in place. It has a nice metal button that you have to press relatively hard to get it to release. And as you can see, when you press that button, it's relatively floppy, making it very easy to flip it open like a Milwaukee Fastback. It does have a little slot right here, which they call a wire stripper or a wire cutter. I suppose you could cut ropes or straps with that. Personally, I would probably just use the tip of the knife, but somebody might find that useful. The components that hold the blade in are also metal, including the button, so you don't have to worry about breaking that, and it is a press the button to release type of device. Some of Tough Belt's tools use a special blade. It's kind of proprietary for some of the other cool features that they have. This particular utility knife will use a standard blade. You don't need a special blade to use in this tool. This particular model does hold three extra blades in the bottom. When you pull that little lever, it'll open up the blade holder. The blades are held in magnetically, so they're not going to go anywhere as you're using the tool, and they do tuck away quite nicely. But let's talk about the pry bar. With the blade folded in, you have this little pry bar that sticks out the end. And by no means is this pry bar wimpy. It's really thick. It's actually quite substantial for the tool itself. Obviously, this makes this tool pretty unique, as I have never seen one with a pry bar built into the end of it. It works quite well. And because of the split in the pry bar, even very small nails, you can reach down in there and get a hold of them and pop them back up. So again, it is the Tough Built brand. It is their pry bar utility knife with storage, but they also make the very same knife without storage. It's a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter. So if you don't care about the storage, you may want to buy this one. It's also a few dollars cheaper. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos. At the very least, you might be entertained.